Alright guys, so you may be wondering what really happened to the toddler in China. Well, I'm not going to show the video to you. Instead, I will be doing a summary and read right here. So eventually, it all started on October 13, 2011, when a two-year-old girl named Wang Ye or Little Ye Ye was actually helping her mother put away the laundry. Unfortunately for that, Wang Ye apparently walked through the streets and apparently she got hit by a car. So what happened is she was bleeding on the road for more than seven minutes. The 18 passengers had ignored her. And I really mean, why would they do this? Why? You know, like, why? Why would they do that to a toddler like that? It was actually like very, very, very scary, you know? She had wandered away from her mother in Foshan while her mother was quickly collecting laundry from the thunderstorm. So a closed circuit television camera had captured Wong Ye wandering into a narrow busy market street. Unfortunately for that, a white van had struck her and knocked her to the ground. The driver doesn't get out, but the van pauses. So he apparently runs over Wong Ye and apparently Wang Ye's legs was actually crushed, including, including her body. Her body was bleeding very badly and Wang Ye started to cry. Eventually, the Good Samaritan, who was actually a female rubbish collect scavenger, Chan Xianmi, apparently held Wang Ye crying, holding her head. She was conscious at first because she was moving her arms and legs and bleeding. Wang's parents, Wang Qingye and Qiu Kui Fei Fei, didn't want to blame for their daughter's death. It was actually true because Kui said Granny Chen actually represents the best human nature. It's the nicest and best natural sides of them, you know? Okay, so what happened is when Wang Ye was actually in the hospital, she was actually in a coma. But she died eight days Later, on October 21st, 2011, just nine days, nine or ten days before Halloween. And I mean, I can't believe the driver would do a thing like that to the toddler. I mean, not, not to mention that, but I do believe like the mother was supposed to like, uh, keep an eye on her child. Wong Ye could have been 13 years old if she was still alive, you know? And you know what the mother should have learned? The mother should have learned to keep her child, including a toddler, away from the road. Because cars are here, you know? Like sometimes kids can get really hurt. They can get badly injured or they can end up dying, you know? Like it's terrible. Now I'm not going to show the video to you because this is actually going to be against the guidelines. So we're not doing that at this moment, okay? It is all out. It is off limits okay off limits all right so uh, the question is this one why didn't like the driver look where he was going when he sees the toddler well what i was going to say is that the driver apparently uh pauses he doesn't like get out slowly instead he just runs the child over like very very brutally she was only two years old at that time you know so eventually, Wang Ye was actually born on June 28, 2009 in China and she died at just two years old in the hospital, you know, like, like that. She apparently just succumbed to her injuries which were very, very severe. Doctors tried everything to save her but she died. And I do like say that her mother apparently uh, could have just watched the child. Um, instead of like leaving them you know so eventually during the trial right here Hu Jun was actually driving with the minivan that Wang o ran over the toddler he was charged in Foshan and put into put into this kind of trial but he pleaded guilty to traffic crime but not homicide on September 6 2012 who was actually convicted of involuntary homicide was sentenced to three and a half years in prison. The sentence was because of Wong Ye's medical expenses that was paid right here. So previously, there was actually 
uh, incidents in China where Good Samaritans actually help people who are injured in incidents. So, what I'm going to say is this. I can't believe the driver Hu Jun actually did a thing to a toddler, you know? Like I mean, why would he do a thing like that? It is very, 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 very bad, you know? And the mother should have just told her child to get off the street, you know? Like, it's very dangerous and children like that, they can get seriously hit by a car. You, you even know what I mean, okay? Now, I don't want to get this kind of topic a little too far, you know? I'm not going to get this topic a little too far. It's because I actually saw this video back in 2014. It breaks my heart because, you know, a toddler just gets run over by a car. This is not cool, you know? I just find it, like, very, very bad. So I actually think this reaction also was in this country, China, and spread overseas, you know? Now, there's actually a BBC news video about the toddler right here, but I'm not really going to show it to you. So eventually the charges were two vehicle drivers that were charged and hit and run against the toddler, you know? So eventually she was actually reported brain dead in the end, and I'm not going to show it to you, I'm not doing that, I'm sorry, okay? So eventually, what I was gonna say is that doctors have tried everything, including this hairnet. So what is this hairnet for? This hairnet is actually used um, for surgery for children. So eventually, doctors have said that Wang Ye has died. So what did her parents think? Her parents reacted to this situation that um, it was like kind of sad and what I what I knew was like the parents were grieving for their toddler, you know, like it was like so sad, all right? I was like in shock, you know, like this even happened like 11 years ago, you know. So eventually, what I was going to say is that uh, her brother as well, I think in my opinion, her brother also um, saw the news that uh, his sister apparently got hit by a car and died, you know? Like, it was like very, very scary for a toddler who, who died. Now, there was actually one more thing I wanted to say before I sign off. Now, if you're on the street with a child, please don't. Please don't. Alright? Please do not. Okay? Please don't leave your child on the street. So, what must you do when a child is on the street? When a child is on the street, if it's injured, just try and help them. Don't leave them behind. Like what those 18 people did to this child, it is definitely the worst thing that they can happen. They never think for themselves. Think for this. Oh no, is the child dead? Should I help? Should I help? Yes, you should always help the child. If the child is hit by a car or somehow needs help, you should help them. You shouldn't leave them on the street. It was actually like the scariest part when she was actually like um, hit and run over. I'll just say that the reaction is like kind of bad, you know, like the, the reaction is like seriously bad. All right. Now eventually, this will also happen in my country as well. So just please be warned about this, okay? We don't want the same mistake to ever happen to children like that. Especially all around the world, where they get hit and run over. It's not only children, it's also adults that got hit and run, including dogs as well, you know? Like it's scary, people would die in these kinds of accidents, and it's not cool. But anyway, this is me signing off.